Hello, hello, and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Space Exploration. I've actually not played this game for a while. I've been far too busy with um, GTA 5 for all the Manhunt episodes that have been coming out. Uh, but now I think it's time to come back and have a look at where I've got to. So this is much, much where you saw at the end of the last episode. I have got the uh, the rocket here that's being gradually fueled up from these two these machines down here. Um, so, so and it's it's nearly ready to take me home. It's got 48 um, out of 50,000, 48,000 out of 50,000. So it's about 96%, nearly there. And I've chucked some of the miscellaneous junk from this place back in there as well to take it with me. What I have, what I've also done here, is while I've been sort of effectively stranded on this planet, I decided to do a bit of sort of a little bit of expansion and sort of set things up for later. So the main problem that I ran into when I got here was that I hadn't planned ahead properly. I hadn't brought a lot of the stuff I needed because I'd just forgotten I was going to need it mostly. Um, and so there's been a few things over over here on this mining patch. I'd only brought some drills, so there aren't remotely enough to fill this whole area, which is why there's only a gentle trickle of the. Um, uh, uh, vulcanite coming out here. But what is coming out is then being processed by these crushers and uh, and then these these assembly machines to make it into some nice um, little boxes of vulcanite. So, I mean, it's basically working. It's just there's not really enough throughput. So, yeah, it'll it'll, it'll do for, it'll do for now. Um, I've also put in another row of this along here with the intention of expanding out that way later. Uh, so when I get some more drills in here, that'll pass it along the second belt, and then it'll come around here. The other big thing I've missed, I'm missing, is is the uh, medium power poles. So there's a, that's why all of this is completely unpowered, and there's not there's no power poles over here. And I've used a lot of a lot more big power poles around this sort of area than I normally would. So as you may or may not remember, doing this um, process also uh, sorry this process also produces the um, chunks of stone as well. So I've got them being passed down here to this assembly machine that's, that's turning them into landfill, mostly because landfill uses a lot of stone to not produce very much stuff. So I can leave this running for a very long time before this chest will will, uh, will fill up. As you can see, there's, there's nine in there at the moment, and I think it stacks up to 100. So I'll be able to fit almost uh, 50, no, 5, 000, almost 5,000 in there. And that's going to be, uh, okay, I'll, I'll look it up. So landfill takes 50 stone, and there's room for almost 5,000 landfill in there. So that's 50, 250,000 250, stone can come out here before that before that chest will fill up. And then there's room for even more stone in that chest. So we're going to be good for a while there. The other major thing I forgot is that this process here requires water to wash the uh, crushed vulcanite. So it comes, it comes off here as, as vulcanite, goes into here, which crushes it, and it goes into here, which washes it. As I say, that requires water that gets turned into steam. So down, so one of the, one of the things I had to build down here, we've got this um, delivery cannon chest that accepts the water barrels that are being fired up from Norvis. And I was able to set that up using the uh, the satellite uplink, which I was quite pleased with. There's enough sort of you can tweak things enough remotely that way that I was able to, to configure this, get it set up, link it across with a red cable, and so in theory this will only trigger when this 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 box is empty. Um, as it is, it's got 160 in it, so it's, so fortunately it's stopped. Um, I think this isn't working though because there's not enough power for this, which I should get onto in a moment. So what we've got going on here is we've got the barrels, the um, delivery cannon capsules are landing in this chest. <clears throat> the barrels are getting unloaded for them. The water emptied out of the barrels into this tank and then dumped into there. Um, I'm not sure why this has stopped, if I'm being quite honest. I thought I, I my intention was to set this up to only run if this was at less than. 10k or something um, but I don't know why that inserter isn't inserting maybe that's full that's pro oh that's full that's why okay I should go and get those barrels and take them back down to the main planet before I get <laughs> before I leave so the water from there is getting passed up here into these pipes you can pass through here and as you as you may remember it's getting turned into steam so because water is a bit of a limited resource on this planet i didn't want to just blow the steam off turning it into power even though i am a bit short of electricity so what i've got instead is it's going down into this tank and this tank they're collecting the steam up and then this ch uh, chemical plant here is um condensing the steam back down into water now how, how efficient is that Here we go. 100 steam turns into 99, 99 water. So this 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 system here is 99% efficient. It's good. so eventually it's going to run out of water, and we're going to get to need, need to get more sent up from the planet. But for the time being, 
it's running reasonably well. There's 11,000 in there. That's going to last for a while because it's all being reclaimed. So, why is this ground to a halt? Ah, I finally filled the rocket up. Excellent. So now what I can do is I can drop this power pole back in here. And I can then probably reactivate this at some point. And then we can start shooting the um, the Vulcanite back at Norvis, which is the, the, the eventual end goal of all of this. Now, over here I've got a little bit of power generation, which is okay. It, it works, but that's used up all of the power plant, power, uh, yeah, solar panels and um, accumulators I brought with me. And as you can see, if I click on here, it is enough at the moment. But then when the um, when the delivery cannon starts using enormous amounts of power like that, that quite quickly empties the accumulators. And when I start to plug in a few of these things like this one that don't have power. Let's plug it back in again, see what happens. Um, we'll find that we're actually not producing anything like, yeah, you can see the accumulator power dropping there, which is why I had that disconnected. That uses 10 megawatts, which is a bit excessive. Um, but not as excessive as the uh, as the delivery cannon over here that uses something like 50 when it's charging. So, yeah, we don't have remotely enough power. So what I need to do about this, I need to take a copy of that. Let's take a copy of that bit actually because it's complete. I'll put in another row up here and okay that's going to be outside the area, appropriate area but never mind. Put in some more down here like that. Uh, don't need these. So this will now, this will almost quadruple the amount of power I've got once I've got the actual resources on site to build it. So as I said, the, the problem I'm having at the moment is that I don't have I don't have any of the stuff I need. I've used up all of my solar panels, I've used up all of my drills, I've used up all of basically everything. I managed to scrape a little bit more together from the resources I had with me by um, dropping down a small copper mine in this patch here. So we've got a little bit of copper been generated up here. I could go in and pull these mines up, but I think it's sort of useful having the copper there just in case of emergencies. There's also some iron up here. So I mean, I could have used this to bootstrap a, um, a, a base and get everything running again. But to be honest, I, I didn't really want to. When I've already got everything down on the planet, I, I don't really want to have to go through all that again. So what I'm going to do now, now that my rocket is fully fueled. I'm going to grab as much of everything as I can and probably take as much of the um, a load of Vulcanite back down with me as well. In fact, let's get that set up straight away. So they're just loading into the rocket. That's the wrong place. I suppose it actually technically wasn't. Uh, do I have any inserters? I need the slow ones. Do I have any stack inserters? Yes, let's borrow one of them. <laughs> my final big electrical pole. Okay, so now we can load this rocket up with lots and lots of uh, vulcanite, which was, as you may remember, the original point of coming here. And I can pick up some of the other junk that's been accumulating around here as well, like um, all of those barrels. Take them back with us as well. And all of this junk and that. Oh, so much, so much stuff. Is that the... Well, it's basically the lot. Okay. So yeah, we're going to need to come back with enormous quantities of solar panels and power poles and um, and drills in order to get all of this up and running. I might as well empty these as well because a huge amount of rock over here that I don't don't want. Oh, this has just been accumulating from the um, from building stuff because these this, this is where I'm keeping my um, my yellow chests. So let's yeah let's loot all of that stuff and put it all into the rocket. And at that point, we're getting kind of close to being ready to go, I think. Um, I'll unload some of this stuff that I don't need, because I might find more uses for it up here. Or rather, I don't want the scrap up here. That goes in the rocket. Oh, and we've run out of power. <laughs> that was why I unplugged this. There we go. Yeah, so the solar is, is obviously very, very reliant on the sun. And then when the sun goes down, if you've got too much stuff running, like the um, the delivery gun, here we go, that's pulled out a couple of massive spikes of power, and that's probably what's empty the accumulators. So we need to, we need to, we just, yeah, we just need to get more power over to, over to here, really, and then, then things will start working a bit better. So I think I talked about the delivery chests a bit in the last episode, but I didn't talk about exactly how I've got them set up. So if we have a look at 
at um, Norvis. Here we are. So I've got, I split off, so I did this all remotely using the um, satellite uplink as I am at the moment, commanding, telling the bots to do stuff and that sort of thing, which all worked really well. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I was able to um, add this extra belt in here, fill, uh, dumping um, the water barrels into this delivery cannon, along with the delivery cannon capsules, and the miss was just firing them uh, when it's active. Fires them like this. Fit two in it, and then it loads up again. Eventually, <laughs> recharges like this. Fires again. So we're all yeah, and there you go. You can see the um, the barrels falling out of the sky and landing in this um, in this chest here. Now I haven't got this because I haven't got enough power to send the signal back from here back to Norvis. There we go. There's another one. Um, I was having to do that. I was I was turning this off manually like uh, like this because I don't want the barrel to overflow and and things to start blowing up because I'm not sure exactly what'll happen but I suspect it's not going to be good. Um, but yeah, this is use, using a um, a blue chest, so the the um, the capsules are being automatically flown in by bots, like this. Keeps it stopped up, and it can keep firing the water barrels over as as we need them. And then all of this system here will empty them into the chair, into the uh, into into this into this tank, and it, and it can carry on fueling the system. Now the plan is that I want to get it to the stage stage where this is doing exactly the same with the Vulcanite, sending it all back to Norvis where it can then be used uh, to fuel my rockets. So at the other end, it, once again, I've got a, a, a chest, where is this, down, down here I think, because this is where all the Vulcanite happens. Yes, here we go. So they're all dropping into this thing and then being passed out onto these belts, one of which is missing up here. Let's put that in uh, and then and then the signal of whatever's in here is being passed this transmitter so again the receiver back up on in in on the other planet here should then receive that signal passed over to this this inserter and so the inserter will only work when the the chest on the other end is empty the problem with that is when this is short of power as it is at the moment it just doesn't output any signals and so this thinks it's, thinks there's nothing in the chest at the other end and it runs flat out so that's not <laughs> not working quite right at the moment it, but again it's all down to the uh, the power shortages once the sun comes back up again which it has now things should be okay again it's charging up this charging up the oh no the tur turret is uh, turrets charged now let's hope that's not firing uh no it shouldn't be because that's deactivated good so we should find now that this now this is still running slowly it's the um yeah, still very, very low low satisfaction levels. But this should now build back up again to... Well, let's see if we pull the zoom out this far. Yeah, you can see I'm getting up to 13 uh, megawatts out of the out of the solar panels. And at the moment, it's only down at 2.5. So so that will build up, and that should keep things running adequately. Um, just as long as I don't try and turn on any of these high-power draw things. That said, now this is up to, um, up to power. I've got... Basically, I've got a choice at this point. I can either... Um, I can either wait for this to carry on loading more vulcanite into here and so I can take a bit more stuff back with me um, or I can just hop in the rocket and leave and send it back and start using this thing instead I think I'll just get back in the rocket um, and head back to Norvis because I want to get this, this working properly so here we go uh, you can stop that The hope is that I don't, won't need to use these rockets. Um, unfortunately, I am going to run out of the delivery cannon capsules fairly quickly because it's just going to churn through all of those, and then I'm going to have to send a load more up here. Oh, charming! It missed. I mean, it's it's a good thing I didn't really bring anything I care about, but huh, it's still annoying. Um, of course, my bots are now trying to sweep up the uh, the mess around here. Let's help them. I can't, my inventory's full. Turn my robot, robots off, I think. Uh... Right, so, yeah. One of the things in this, with the, the risk, there, there's a certain amount of, um, of risk with the rockets that they'll just go, oh dear, and crash and come down in completely the wrong place. So, um... I mean, it could be worse. At least I'm not too far from the base. This is this is where this is where it was supposed to land. At least it didn't land on anything, I suppose, and blow up a chunk of chunk of base. So, yeah, small thankful for small mercies and all that. Um, I, I guess I'll just 
I mean, is there anything I actually wanted in these? The barrels are potentially useful. Oh, the uh, the vulcanite is useful. Let's keep that. And I suppose the scrap is technically useful. Let's take as much of that as I can. Alright, I'm full. Now, the problem is... Because all of this stone is in my trash slots, the bots are going to fly in and try and take it away from me as soon as quickly as they can. So what I'm going to try and do, and I don't, don't know if I'll be able to reach, is stand outside RoboPort range and try and dump all of this stuff into my landing pad like like this. Uh, because the landing pad is set up to deal with coal and stone and barrels and rock. Um, uh, uh, stone, yeah, all of this stuff basically. It's set up to deal with that. And I've got it all out of my trash slots now, so I can just come down here. As you see, if we come down if we if we look down here, we've got essentially we've got barrels coming out on one side and everything that isn't a barrel coming out on the other. Um, it's passed round here. How does this work? It's been so long since I've played this, I've kind of forgotten. Um uh, oh yeah, okay, so yes, we split the barrels out. So it doesn't actually need to be those two separate inserters. I just need to be careful about what I put in here. Um, but this will then split them, split split out the barrels here, so the barrels get passed down onto this return belt, and more liquids can get put in them. And all of the junk will get passed onto my sort of recovery recycling belt. That's this, that's this one that snakes down here. That goes all the way down <laughs> the entire length of the base. Uh, no, not this far. Most of the length of the base to here, it meets up with all of the same sort of junk that's being produced out, that's coming out of this uh, warehouse and gets passed along here and the scrap gets filtered out here and turned into more resources which then get fed down here and into the stations over here where they can then be passed around the, around the system again. The other thing I brought down with me is of course this vulcanite, so if I fly down here... and overshoot completely. Then I can dump that. I wonder if I can, I can probably just dump that straight into this uh, into this chest that's supposed to be recovering it anyway. There we go. And then it'll unload it onto the belts here. It'll flow along, it'll get made into the, um, and then it'll get made into solid rocket fuel there. Okay, good. So that's dealt with the stuff I brought back down with me, or at least the part of it, the parts of it I care about. I can also deposit these crates in here. Well, some of them anyway. And they can be made into ro more rocket sections. So the next thing I need to do is put together a rocket, maybe here, and decide what I want to send up to the other planet. Now a lot of this isn't actually necessary because some of it I've already got up there in plentiful supply. Some of it I don't need. The military stuff I don't need because it's a peaceful planet. But I do need a lot more miners. I need a lot of electrical poles. I need a lot of solar and I need a lot of um, accumulators and I suspect this isn't enough of any of that so what I'm what's the best way to do this I could go in here I could right if I unwire these then it'll stop putting stuff in automatically that's, that, that's, that's ammunition as well okay, so let's unwire these two Oops. So now nothing will be put in automatically. So if I go in here and I say, well, I don't want any ammunition in there. I don't want any of this. I do actually want some of that. I want any of that, 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 that. I can now go back around here and put it all. Oh, is this coming by belt? Oh. That's a shame. <laughs> I'll have to have to sort of cuddle it for now. Oh, it's coming by belt as well. Oh. Typical. Most of the stuff I want to get rid of has come in by belt, so I can't. I can put one of these in here. Now this needs to be a lot more. Typically, of course, a lot of the stuff I do want is only going in in relatively small quantities. Now I don't have, I don't even, I don't have any um, electrical poles around here. No wonder there's problems. And big poles as well. 
And I'm also going to want to take up... Oh, I've run out of, run out of requested chests. Is that something that actually gets placed? I, I honestly don't know at this point. Yes, it is. Okay. So we'll wait for that to happen. Then we'll say this needs to summon an enormous quantity. Of, oh, I could do it with this one, actually. What was it I said I needed? I have completely... Oh, was it miners? No, I've got, I've got core miners there. Not normal miners. Probably was miners then. Right. This is where anyone who's paying attention is shouting at the screen, telling me what I've forgotten that I, that I need to send up there. So, so I don't make any... So I'm not... Because I'm not completely stupid, I'm going to have another look up here and see what I'm... Um, see what I'm missing. So... Belts are apparently in short supply. Oh, actually, that might just be because they're outside the um, construction. No, belts are in short supply, but that's okay. There's some of them in there. I could send up to railway line. Oh, I know what it was that I needed. Yes, I am apparently an idiot. Um, I need to send a lot of the uh, delivery cannon capsules up there because that's what the whole th whole system runs on. And so without those, it's just not going to work. In fact, let's put these all the way down here. Get more patient. I'm going to make some. There we go. I want to send. Well, let's put a hundred in, hundred in this box. <coughs> so this is now going to be a bit slightly slow process of loading all of the stuff into the rocket so it's ready to go again. So I think at this point I'm going to probably call that an episode because it's been quite. It's been twenty over twenty minutes, so that's a good amount of time. And um, I'll show you what I, where I've got to next time. Um, hopefully the rocket will be ready to go and I'll be able to finish all that stuff up back on the other planet. And then we'll have that steady dribble of. Um, of rocket fuel coming in here and keeping my entire factory going because yeah it's still a crisis it's still a rock still a massive rocket fuel shortage and i need that for science and everything else thank you for watching i'll see you next time